At the beginning of every semester, if you go into your courses menu in Schoology, you'll see a list of all of the classes that you have been assigned to in Infinite Campus. So Infinite Campus will send a message to Schoology to create these courses for you and enroll the appropriate students. This is very nice, but there's still some additional steps that we need to take to make these courses ready to use with students so that you can really take advantage of all of the course management and auto grading features. Now, before you go into any one of your courses, I want you just to choose See All. This brings up a list of all of your current courses. Now, these are courses where you are designated as a student or an administrator. And if you have been designated as an administrator like I have, you'll see the course listed here and you'll have an editing gear next to it. Now, I'm not a teacher of this sixth grade lit circles discussion, but the teacher of that class has enrolled me as a co-admin so I can go in and help troubleshoot with some items in that course. So you'll see all of your courses listed here. Anything that you have multiple blocks or multiple sections of will be arranged like this. So here's English Language Arts 10 and blocks four, five, and seven. If I also teach English Language Arts 9, those sections will be listed separately because it's a separate course. So here's all of my active courses, and next to each course is a pencil. This would allow me to change the name of the course. You can't really do this for courses that Campus creates because it will just change it back overnight. So I don't recommend renaming any of your Campus courses, but if you created any courses from scratch, like I've made one called Audiobooks, and if I wanted to change the name, I would just click the pencil icon here to do so. Now these are all of my active courses, meaning they are taking place at this moment in time. Any of my older courses are going to be found in this course archive. So if you ever need to go back to an old course to copy some content, to get a quiz to use this year, just know that all of your old courses are right here in your archive and they are sorted reverse chronologically. So my courses from last semester will be listed first. As I scroll down, the courses will get older and older. Let's go back into the current list of courses. Again, this listing is identical to what's in my courses menu, but it's alphabetical. You can see I've rearranged the order of my active courses menu. You can use this little arrow here, and then it lets you drag these around. This is a true alphabetical listing. And for this example, I'm going to set up those English Language Arts 10 classes. Now, I want to see all three sections easily. And so instead of using the same tab in Chrome to do that, I'm going to right click on each section or each class period and open it in a new tab. This will just allow me to swap back and forth between these much easier. So now I have all three classes just as separate tabs here. And the very first thing you're going to want to do is to check and update your membership. So if you go into each class, you can see this one already has some content in it. And so keep that in mind. The, my blocks five and seven don't. They're completely empty right now. If I go into block four and click on members, and then I'll go over to block five and also click on members, I'm going to be pulling up my most recent campus roster and looking for any students that don't belong in this class. Campus will enroll students, but if a student has a schedule change, campus will not take them out of your Schoology class. So the, the result is you'll end up with a whole lot more kids listed in Schoology than really belong. So let's take Max for an example. Let's say Max switched from my English 10 class to another English 10 class. Maybe it's my block five or maybe it's just another teacher's class, but he shouldn't be in block four. I want to use this gear icon next to his name to unenroll him. And I'll confirm this action. This will prevent Max from accidentally doing work in the wrong English class. And he's really just moved over to my inactive tab here. If I ever needed to, I can easily re-enroll him. So I'm gonna go back to my members. And I'm really also especially going to be on the lookout for anyone who's duplicately enrolled in two sections. So you see Edwin's listed here in block four. If I go over to block five, Edwin's also listed here. Now one of the things I'm going to show you how to do in this video is to connect your sections so that it's a little bit easier to manage. Some teachers like it, some teachers don't, but I'm not going to have that option if I have any students duplicately enrolled in sections. So you really need to make sure your rosters are really accurate. So we'll say that Edwin belongs in block four. He has moved out of block five, so I'm gonna unenroll him from this class. So you'll just go through with your rosters and make what's in campus match up with what's in Schoology for all of your sections. After you have checked your members and made sure that everything's accurate, you now have the option, if you want to, to connect these sections. And what that means is right now, I have, if I go back to the materials page for block four and the materials page for block five, 
I have some content in this block four class. So when my students come into block four, they're actually ready to go. They can go right into the sessions folder and get started. There's nothing in this class at all for block five. So what I need to do right now, it's not a, a huge deal, but I have to constantly go through and I have to copy this information from this class to my other class. And I just have to keep copying every single little thing. And it's not a huge deal, but if you teach numerous sections of the same class, it's a little tedious because all my block four and my block five and my block seven, they'll all be doing the same things. The due dates will be different, but the content's going to be the same. So I might wanna just connect these all together so that I only have to add content to one and then I can just change the due dates. So I'll be showing you how to do that in other videos, how to kinda add and change due dates. But if you want to join these sections together, so instead of, of three different sections of English 10, you're really just going to manage one, and you'll be able to kind of switch you know, your grade books easily so you can just see block four or block five at one time. Then you just need to merge those sections. So you do that back on that course listing page. So I still have this tab open. If I didn't, I would just go back to courses and choose see all. And if I want to merge my classes together, I'll just go down to where they're all listed. They have to be listed like this, where there's the same class title and the sections together. What I can do is merge them together so they act just like one class in Schoology because my prep and planning will be identical for all three classes. I'm going to choose the gear icon next to the section that I want to kind of be like the master section or the one I actually have something in. If you have nothing in any of them, it doesn't really matter. But if you remember, I put a lot of stuff already in block four, nothing's in five or seven. So I'm going to choose the gear icon next to block four for this to be the kind of master that the others are linked to. So I'm going to choose link existing section and I'll say go ahead and link blocks five and seven to this class. Now this is completely optional. Some teachers like to have them linked together so that they're doing less copying of things from one to the other and some don't like it. So you can always unlink them if you don't like this but if you want to give it a try this is how you do it. So I'm going to link blocks five and seven to block four and that's going to give me this message that anything that's currently in five or seven will be erased and replaced with what's in four. That sounds good to me, so I'll choose link. These sections now show as pretty much one section now in my course listing. And if I click on the link here, or if I go back up to my courses menu and visit it this way, you can see they're all joined together. Now students will still see them separately. So a student in block four will still see English language arts block four, and those in block five will see that, but it just makes that those three different sections join together for me for management purposes, which can make things a little bit easier. We haven't gotten too much into creating things, but if I wanted to make an assignment that was due for all of my English 10 classes, I just need to title the assignment that I want them to turn in. And now in the due date section, I can have a due date that applies to all sections or I can just choose my sections to customize. So when I do this, I'll just say I want to select all my sections to customize. And I'll get different due date boxes for each. So I can have block fours due on Thursday and blocks five and seven due on Friday. But the directions and the fact that the assignment will be visible in all the sections will be the same. All right, so we have checked the membership for each of your sections, which is the first step in getting your courses ready. We have joined your sections together if you so choose to. And now the last step in getting your courses ready to go is to set up the gradebook. I'm going to switch over to a class where I haven't already set up the gradebook so I can show you how this works. You won't need to spend a lot of time setting up your gradebook in Schoology because you're still going to be using Canvas to report your grades, but you do need to update a couple of settings so that your auto grading features work and so that you aren't reporting incorrect information to students. First, choose gradebook from the left menu and then go into grade setup. Just like Canvas, Schoology needs at least one category for your assignments and quizzes and all of the other gradable items you put into it. Now you could spend time and create all the same categories in Schoology that you have in Campus, but again, you're probably not gonna collect everything in Schoology. This is not your gradebook of record. So I just say create one category and call it everything or all points or all work, whatever you wanna call it and just choose create. 
This will basically just flip on all those auto grading features and make everything work. You do need to fill in the little star next to your category so that everything defaults to that category. After you have set up your category, one additional thing I want you to do is to scroll down to this hiding course grades option here. And I want you just to hide overall grades from student reports. That will prevent a student from seeing a grade in Schoology that says your overall grade is a B, but really their grade in Infinite Campus might be completely different because Schoology doesn't have all of the assignments that you have put into campus. So you just, just hide those. They'll still see their assignment grades and their specific grades for a specific quiz or for a paper they turned in, but Schoology won't bless them with some kind of overall grade that might conflict with what they'll see in campus. When you're done, just save your changes and now your gradebook is ready to go. If you are running separate sections or if you want to apply these settings to other classes, there's a copy settings button over here and you can copy your categories to other classes just by selecting them and choosing copy. Just a word of warning though, you're still gonna need to visit each of your separate sections to put the check marks in this area. That does not copy out as of the time of making it this video. It will eventually, but right now, the only thing that copies is the categories. So just to review, the first step in course setup is to check your membership and unenroll any students who've moved sections. Step two is to go to your courses, see all listing and see if you want to join any of your sections together like I did with the English 10 courses. So I joined sections four, five and seven together. At any time I can always come back in here and unlink those if I'd like to. And step three is to set up your gradebook. Once you've done those things, your course is ready to add content to. I do recommend you take a little bit of time and update your course badge, but that is optional.